Discovery Place Hair Salon in Devon is hosting CFCW for a virtual lockdown show from Discovery Place. Hello from Devon, Alberta. My name is Kim Simon and we are so happy to be here with the virtual CFCW team. Remember guys, the Grinch didn't steal Christmas. He just stole all of our crap. CFCW coming to Discovery Place Assisted Living in Devon. And hey, we might have COVID restrictions, but we sure know how to have fun, right Johnny? Yeah. Stella, stay with me. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells ring and jingle bells ring. Snow and blowing up bushels of fun. Hey Nick, now the jingle hop has begun. Oh, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell break. Jingle bell time and jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing in the jingle bell square, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is like Home Alone CFCW edition. No one's going to break in and steal from our house. Not while this team's on the job. Hey guys, I'm the real Kim Simon here with the virtual 840 CFCW team. It is so awesome to have you here and we want to send a big shout out to all of our family and friends that cannot be here with us to visit Discovery Place. We want to send them a great I love you and Merry Christmas. Um, my name is Henriette Laverdière. Okay, and and we had a pretend Tim Hortons here, and all the staff were wearing the hats and pretending and giving Timbits and coffee. So w that was fun, hey? Oh, sure, it was really fun, and I enjoy those Timbits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun. And um, we probably also want to tell CFCW about the, the snow art that we have. Have you ever looked at the snow art from above? Oh, I did. Oh, every time. Well, we live on the uh, fourth floor. Oh, so you really get a good, a oh, good yeah. view. Oh, sure, we get a good view up there. Well, in the summer too. The summer is a community garden. So, oh, yeah. do you also watch them plant and weed and? And also, there's a park. Dog, the dog park. Yeah, the dog park is. That, you're oh, right. You're right. I, you should see the dogs enjoying the the plates there. The moment that there the gate there for them, the gate that doesn't open fast enough. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could see that from here. That's cool. And tonight we're going to have the Merry and Bright Parade. Oh, so yeah. do you think you're going to stay up and watch that go by? Oh, sure. That's oh, great. Oh, yeah, I already plan to uh, have a good look at it. And... Well, I'm sure if you slept, you could also watch it on the news tomorrow. Oh, but yeah. it's so nice to have it all lit up and Santa Claus is coming. So is there anyone you want to say uh, Merry Christmas to? Because CFCW has listeners from all over. Oh, yeah. Well, first of all, I'll say uh, Merry Christmas to my brother up up in Polair area. And uh, him too, he's locked down. Oh. And I have my sister-in-law also. She lives in, uh, in town in the facility, seniors facility. So uh, Merry Christmas to Louise and uh, to my brother, Guy, and his wife, Georgia. And the family. Oh, that's really sweet. Well, Stella Stevens is going to, she thought of this whole thing, and I think it's really great that we can say Merry Christmas to all the other seniors that are in facilities. Oh, yeah. That's because, awesome. Because uh, to be locked down, you have to be creative. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you so much. Yes. Now, everybody else got to say Merry Christmas to their friends and family, but I think, uh, I think the people hit CFCW 
they want to know about some of the pranks that go on around here. So is there anything you can tell us about a certain pregnancy test from the Dollarama? <laughs> <laughs> we did that. We did the pregnancy test to see if we could fool the staff when we left at certain people's rooms just to see if it would be picked up by the staff in the building. Oh my god, well like you say, the damn pregnancy test at Dollar Tree is a buck twenty-five, so it's pretty much begging to be a prank, you know, it's not our fault. And so CFCW today is just wanting to show what it's like to be in lockdown in one of these facilities, like are you guys holding up okay? You bet you we are. <laughs> That's you know, great. All the people on the front line that are doing their jobs to help all of us. It's much appreciated. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. Well, we uh, we're turning into family because you know we can't see our own families. Neither can you. So mm -hmm. we're family. Yep, that's exactly what we are here—a family. Now they called us because they were wondering how the heck we managed to have our own pop-up Tim Hortons. So uh, did you <laughs> did you partake in that nonsense? I was busy at the time. Oh shoot! Well, it sure was that funny. It was good. Because oh no, they teased us so bad. They they were like, "I want a Big Mac. I want a lemonade." So yeah, we had a lot of fun. But I don't think anyone should tell anyone from Tim Hortons how hard we worked because we ran. It was so you hard. <laughs> and so. Uh, Recently, Roy Hale, who turned 100, had a special Remembrance Day. Were you able to look at the giant white snow poppy in the snow? Yes, I did. Well, I think there's, there's nowhere else in the world that has all this goofiness under one roof. And is there anyone you'd like to say a Merry Christmas to? To everybody on the front lines there in the Aww. hospitals and out there, even the staff in our building. It's much appreciated by all of us. Well, it looks like it looks like at this point we're looking at Christmas being canceled. So I had an idea. Naked Christmas. <laughs> hey, no one can go outside if you're naked. It's too cold. So if all those facilities out there, if you're having a rough Christmas, just take all your clothes off the way we are here at Discovery Place <laughs> in Devon. <laughs> I'm so fired. I am so fired. Oh, this is Jerry and uh, Jackie Ray. I don't know if you remember me or not, but I used to phone you about every morning and say, here's a joke for you. This one might not be for the radio. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, Wes. I remember when he passed away, my girlfriend and I both were at home crying in the kitchen. Anyway, and also the cruise we went on and the dumb joke that I... Tried to tell with the microphone. So you, you went on a CFCW cruise? Yes, we did. Okay, you and Russell. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, well, uh, what do you like about living at Discovery Place during lockdown? Um, a lot of people are making it really good. Yeah. And we have decorations like you wouldn't believe. We've got enough in here to do the whole town of Devon. <laughs> That's right. It's beautiful. And tonight a parade is going to come right past. Oh yes, I'm looking forward to that. I hope it's going to not be dark. Oh, it's going to be dark, but they're going to have Christmas lights. Yeah. Um, and they're, for three hours, they're yeah. going to go up and down every street. Jackie, do you remember that joke I tried to tell on the cruise? Hey man, go for it. <laughs> it's, it's too long. Oh. But they had with directions, and, and so I was talking, and the mic is out there, and the mic is out there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's tough, the feedback. Well, maybe they'll have you come work at the station someday. She is the big uh, the big kahuna over there. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Yeah, okay, so just once again, your full name? Jerry. And your last name? Procession. Okay, now it's coming to her. She's like, oh no, no, oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Is there anyone you want to say Merry Christmas to? I'd like to say Merry Christmas to everybody in Discovery Place, Aww. but my family as well. Hey, we want to thank CFCW for sending these beautiful, I would say, cardboard cutouts. They love to have fun here at Discovery Place, and they like to keep everybody safe and healthy and happy. So, thanks guys.